Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So good to have you here. Today we're looking at Rent to Rent. It is the third in a series that I'm doing all about how you can buy a property or start working with property if you don't have any money or if you've only got a little bit of money. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Debs, it's so great to have you here. I do videos on property and I also do videos following our new build that we are doing at the moment. If you're interested in seeing any of that stuff, please click on the link up there. But otherwise, let's dive into this video. So Rent to Rent, what is it? Rent to Rent is where you essentially rent a property from another landlord and then you rent it to a higher paying client at the end. So this could be a HMO or this could be service accommodation. Now HMO is when you have individual rooms rented out so you make more money per room than you would if you rented the house out as a whole and service accommodation is where you have short-term clients so you will find them through Airbnb or booking.com and you could rent the house again room by room or you might rent it as a whole to short-term clients. Now a lot of people you might think oh no this is definitely sounds like subletting to me it is similar to subletting which is illegal but this is actually a corporate let it's a different style of agreement the problem with the subletting is that it's in the contract that it tells you you're not allowed to do that so it's the contract that means that you're not allowed it so if you have a corporate let it's a different type of agreement you would have your original landlord which you are going to be paying a standard guaranteed rent part of the benefit for the landlord here is that you are basically taking control of the property you're managing it you're dealing with all of the tenants if there's any repairs if there's a leaky tap you're going to be sorting that out. You might not be repairing the roof if it falls off, but you'll be dealing with the smaller, minor maintenance issues. So for the landlord, they're getting a guaranteed fixed rent and they don't have to worry about any management, maintenance, or any of those costs. So a guaranteed rent is really beneficial for the landlord. And myself as a landlord would love to have all my properties on a guaranteed rent. I don't want to deal with managing agents. I don't want to deal with tenants. Someone can take it off my hands and just have it for a fixed term. And the good thing about rent to rent is they're generally much longer terms, not the six months that you have on a standard AST you will have like maybe five years, six years on your agreement. So it's like a long-term fixed payment every single month. You haven't got to pay for those management fees that whole time and you also have no voids because the management company, so you, the person arranging the rent to rent, is going to be managing all those costs. An example of this, let's just say we've got a three-bedroomed terrace property in Liverpool and the rent on that is going to be about 550. So as someone doing rent to rent, I would find this property and I would speak to the landlord and I'd say, I will give you a fixed guaranteed rent of 550. I'm going to manage it as a rent to rent. It's going to be a HMO and I'm going to put four people in there. So even though there's only three rooms, you turn one of the reception rooms into a bedroom and it becomes your fourth bedroom. Each of those rooms will rent out for 350 a month each okay so it's a much higher overall rent of 1400 pounds so then out of that 1400 you then pay the 550 to the landlord you're going to have some bills perhaps about 300 for a four bedroom hmo which brings your profit to 550 pounds a month now that is really good figures if you've not had to even buy that house in the first place now with rent to rent there might be some money that you need to put in so for a hmo obviously there's going to be legal things that you need to get in you need the fire doors you need the smoke alarms you need to get up to high standard ready for your tenant you're going to put beds in wardrobes in sofas in the living area put a dining table in or things like that so it's going to be some upfront cost but it's going to be nothing compared to to buying that house and rent it as a HMO yourself. So now service accommodation is generally a bit cheaper because you only have to furnish it. You don't have the same legislation with service accommodation. So you don't have to put in all those fire doors and things like that. You, all you need to do is furnish the property. And obviously you've got like a two bed, one or two bed or a studio apartment. That's that furnishing isn't gonna be a massive upfront cost. So these are really good ways in which you can get involved. You can start making money from property without putting much money down. And there are people who are making thousands of pounds a month from this strategy and it's a great way to get involved and get started if you haven't got much cash. Now the one thing with rent to rents is that it's not exactly passive. If you want a very, very passive income like we do, it's not particularly the one for you because if you really want to maximize profits with these houses, you need to be managing it yourself. Especially with SA, those management fees are, can be really high and you're also paying for channel managers so you can manage all your bookings and things on all the different portals, Airbnb, booking.com, home and away, all those things. So you're just gonna really eat into that profit if you're passing it out to a managing agent. So you've really gotta to want to manage this yourself. So obviously it's nothing compared to a full-time job. It's gonna be a couple of hours a week, but it is involved. And for us, that's why we're not going down this path at this stage. We really wanna concentrate on passive 
income. If you want to learn a bit more about rent to rent there's some really good books out there, just have a look on Amazon, loads of books. Or if you want to have a look at some more videos, there's Samuel Leeds does some amazing videos, you just look him up, and Leslie Tao, I think that's how you say her name, she is a service accommodation queen, she knows exactly what she's doing there. So give them a look up on YouTube and you'll be able to get a lot more information about rent to rent from those. I hope you found that video helpful and interesting, let me know what you think below, comment below, is this something you'd be up for doing, what are your concerns, what are your worries, you think it's interesting, I'd love to hear your thoughts, that would be really great please stay tuned for the next video which will be up in the next day or two please don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to just be updated when new videos come out thank you so much for watching and see you very soon all right bye